two new positions have been added at the top of the state's public school system. But some are concerned about adding more spots at the top when more help is needed at the ground level. Christy Tomashiro reports. The Department of Education has a new deputy superintendent of strategy and another for operations. This after the Board of Education approved the two appointments Thursday. DOE Superintendent Keith Hayashi says some of the new duties include... Formulate a plan of action to address the need of and potential redesign of our state offices and system to better support complex areas and schools collectively to create the conditions needed to facilitate student success. According to the DOE, the starting salaries for each deputy superintendent is $190,000, which the department will temporarily pay for using federal funds. But the teachers union brings up concerns, adding this is money being funneled away from classrooms and students. And the vice chair of the House Education Committee is concerned about the lack of transparency of the hiring process. Representative Janae Capella says the BOE approved the new positions without asking a single question of the nominees, which undermines the public confidence in the selection process. Hayashi says he understands the concerns, but the work the department must do warrants the new positions, and the DOE spends about 3.54% of its over $2 billion budget on administrative operations. Others support the additional roles, citing the need for strong leadership in the central office. I think that investment's going to pay big dividends, but this isn't a blank check. I think at the end of the day, we need to see real results and real improvement in our system, or else maybe we don't need more of these positions. Next, the DOE will work to secure permanent funding from the state legislature for the positions. Hayashi says these positions will improve the department as a whole. I will be better able to focus on maintaining a healthy symbiotic relationship with the board and lawmakers to improve public education. Collaborating with leadership on the, of the other state agencies to collectively address the needs of our students, families, school communities, and state. Christy Tomashiro, K2 News, working for Hawaii.